<laughs> I, I, uh, I flew by and shot him a minute ago and then hit him with my sword. Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode on the Hermitcraft Season 7 server. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Guys, you're probably wondering why my slime skin is green right now. Well, I have decided to indulge in the game of button, and every time that I hit the button and change to a new color, my skin will represent that color. Rather than using the belts, I'm going to use my skin. So right now we are on color green. We got a really good initial color uh, on the Hermitcraft live stream day on sunday so that was awesome i have the same color nick thank you so much dude cool all right well we've got that so before we do that though let's go ahead and get into our question of the day but my question of the day is a little bit different than normal today because what i want you to do is in the comment section below describe your favorite hermit using only wrong answers i cannot wait to read this it is going to be hilarious so let's get the armor back on so what do we do what do we do between now and then um or then and now i should say well first off let's check this out guys oh yes we've got storage uh all kind of divvied up and labeled and everything is looking really nice i've got to move everything into here now this is going to be sort of our everyday storage but uh today we're going to be working on a massive massive uh storage operation for all of our extra blocks we'll get to that later though because your boy has got a lot of blocks so uh, I actually want to head over to the shopping districts because I need to check out our shops, restock, all of that good stuff. Okay, so we are now at the shopping district. First thing I want to check is the TNT shop because I know that we sold a lot of TNT before. Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this as restocked as much as possible. I, I didn't bring as much as I probably should have, but better than nothing i suppose there we go all right so i think we'll be able to at least fully stock this one chest all right cool so we have restocked a bit uh i also want to check the elytra shop to see if we've sold anything over here all right uh okay nothing there we did sell one the other day and then i also want to check uh trader jevs so let's do that um wow lots of cactus Nothing for glass, nothing for bone, uh, nothing for prismarine, some uh, some in stone and nothing for cyan dye. That is fantastic. So that that cactus will re out. That cactus will really help me out. Oh, I was like the goat. I'm like, what's going on? Uh, anyways, guys, this goat build is hilarious looking, by the way. <laughs> There's so many little shops popping up. It's awesome. Um, oh, I wanted to check Green's shop out because he's got new stuff. So he's selling carrots and it looks like name tags as well. Wow, that's cool. Uh, name tag, one diamond for four. That's a pretty good deal. All right. So anyways, like I said, I want to get started with today's episode by working on our storage room. Uh, and it's going to be completely automated. So let's get to it. All right, guys, I am down underneath of the creeper farm and I've got this area dug out. So we should be able to go up and down. Matter of fact, we should probably go grab some food real fast because I don't know what I did with mine. Um, so I wanted to make a automated storage area for most of our extra blocks the guys we've got like just tons and tons of you know extra stuff sitting there so i want to make sure that we have a spot for that and that's what this area is going to be for um initially i was going to do uh shocker box storage and i still may do that but the automated portion of it will just be for regular blocks but if i do decide to do uh shocker boxes there's going to be a lot of storage here so let's go the wrong way <laughs> let's go down real fast um this one might be missing a block somewhere because it doesn't look like it's pulling me down any it's probably like right above okay so um from the edge of i, I would say probably three out so if we go one two three i want the walkway to at least end right there although that is kind of close if we let's see if we go three out from this side one two three and then have the walkway right there i guess that's not too bad no 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 that, i think that'll work pretty well so we have another three blocks for storage 
Um, I want to store upwards of about 60 to 55 to 60 blocks here, not accounting for the newer things coming into the game in one six. Um, that's really weird. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <laughs> why is the water not? Uh, I guess it's just flowing in. That is really bizarre looking. Okay, anyways, um, but no, I, I really do want to do chocolate box storage because that is going to make our lives so much easier. We'll be able to store like quadruple the amount of items. So, um, I'm looking to do probably at least 16 on each seven, 16 to 17 on each side. If we do 16, that will give us at least 64 items. And I only really wanted to do about 57. So making it a 16 by 16 area will work pretty well, I think. Um, so this is kind of the first part of that. Um, I want to do three tall for each block that we're going to be doing. So each chest will have uh, th uh, three double chests. And then if, like I said, if we do shocker boxes, it'll be quite a, that's quite a bit of storage. I'm actually going to have to do the math on that. Okay, guys, so I'm down here. I've got the first part of this finished. Now, I actually ended up putting a bit more storage in. I thought that I would want just a little bit more, but we're going to go ahead and work on one of the quadrants and make this thing look beautiful. So here's what we're going to do. Typically, I want to kind of keep a similar design as to what we've had in the past. So I'm going to start off with lamps going here and then here and then there i like the spacing in those they it kind of works out kind of perfect to be honest with you then in between those i'm gonna do glass there we go underneath of the glass i will have the prismarine so then let's do prismarine on the side of this there we go i love these colors guys at first i was pretty hesitant um i i wasn't sure if i wanted to use them or not but uh, I'm really happy with the color. All right, so now that we have that, let's add a little bit of variety in. And I think that I'm gonna use uh, prismarine blocks. Now for these ones, I'm gonna throw these probably every other one like that. Um, okay, there we go. So a part of doing these designs for me is like the kind of, the feng shui part of it because i don't know i just i really enjoy this type of stuff i love patterns there we go so something like that because we're just going to kind of build that out a little bit um and then so let's let's think about like kind of going towards the side here right i'm going to put another one of these right here and another one of these right there Ooh, you know what i'm not sure that i actually really like that or not i'm going to put another lamp here and then I want the next lamp to be probably right there. Yeah, because I wanted to kind of skip um, a few blocks, right? I'll put that right there. I really like that. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and add some instone in. So I think I'm going to get rid of these concrete blocks because I'm not a real big fan of the way that that color looks. And um, I think we could probably do a little bit of a better job with the instone. Okay. So let's grab some instone brick and put that in those spots there. So there. All right. I actually, I like that a lot more. Okay. So that looks pretty good. And then, um, so we need to kind of fill in these sides here. I may end up, I think I'm going to remove these for now. I'm not a big fan of the way that that looks. So we've got a pretty good start here. Uh, let me make sure that I'm on soak touch. There we go. Okay. Um, so then I think I'm probably going to start in, uh, and putting in some glass, but I think what we'll probably do is go every other one. So like 
uh, glass there, and then glass there. And uh, yeah, you know what? That's that's not bad looking. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this start and then finish the rest of it and kind of decide if I like it or not. All right, so we're down in our box storage area. I'm not 100% sold on this design just yet. I think that it could probably look a lot better. Uh, I'm gonna continue to work on this. One thing you'll notice is that the room is a lot bigger now. I made the room 19 instead of 15 to 16. I just wanted a few extra spots on each side. Uh, now remember, we're gonna be doing pretty much cobblestone stone, so each item will get one full row, plus we're doing shocker storage. So that's a lot of storage, but you gotta account for blocks that we maybe thought missed, like, you know, maybe we wanna store a bunch of concrete or something. So that was the idea behind that. This room is it's gonna take a little bit of time to get where we want it, but today, um, I think that's enough for that room. I wanna go upstairs and work on a smelting area. One of these is the one I'm looking for. I think it's this one. Not all of these are working right now. Uh, I had asked you guys to maybe consider showing me some automated smelters. I didn't really like the way that they were looking. Aesthetic and this type of base is really important. So I think there's one thing that we may have overlooked and that is the old school sort of Automated kind of smelting that we've had in the past right where you've got your output chest and you have a hopper and then you have your furnace now I may end up moving that uh, Out of block. Let me fix that real fast so let's go here and then here and then put the furnace on top of that fuel load in the back and then the chests right there. So the only problem with that is how tall it is. I'm not a huge fan of the height of that. Um, so let's maybe see if we can make a better version of that again. We'll try it one more time. Okay, you come here. I don't want to go into the floor. That's that's not really what I'm looking for. So maybe instead of having each one have their own individual outputs. I Okay, that's what I heard. I thought I was losing my mind for a second. There's a dolphin right there. Okay, that's I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing at all. So maybe we do it like this instead. Now, I did want to have a spot for uh fuel so i didn't have to do the fuel myself but honestly this may be a better option so now we can just do individual chests if we want and do something like this maybe even that right there would hold six stacks per because i do want to keep the floor levels consistent so i'm thinking maybe something like this i'm not a huge fan of that just yet though hmm okay so i'm gonna work on this just so bizarre dude what are you doing there dolphin <laughs> that's so funny um i'm gonna work on this just a little bit more and see if i can't come up with a better idea okay guys i decided to go with a simpler option um sometimes the game is more important to have something that's going to fit your needs rather than efficiency i could make uh you know the world's largest smelter if i wanted to that's not a problem we more than have that capability of building that in minecraft but for this operation i think this is going to suit my needs more so just keeping it really simple i'll do the fuel myself i'm just going to go with this and i know that's like wow jevin that's real basic you, you know but you know at the same time again it needs to fit my needs rather than the needs of smelting 800 pieces at once. Um, all right, so let's get the rest of these hoppers. And I just kind of wanted to show you that I've done the floor set up. I need to go downstairs and make sure that, well, okay, I need to go downstairs real fast and make sure that that is um, acceptable. I put a light in here. Can I open this chest? I still can, okay, fantastic. Just needed to make sure of that. So now, um i've got the floor and i still need to make the balconies and stuff like that let's quick oh goodness let's quickly quickly finish these up really quickly um so i think the next level of the base is going to start being farms and villagers so i want to do uh automated farms with the um the villagers the farmer villagers i think those things are awesome i'll probably do wheat potatoes and carrots because we still have quite a few levels to take care of but i also want to do like villager trading and stuff so you know like we got to be a little bit oh that's not the right way okay there we go i am losing my voice 
Shocker, Jevin losing his voice. What, uh, what's new, guys? What's new? <laughs> I lose my voice more than I care to admit, guys. It's not good. There we go. All right, let's do the furnaces now. I hope I have enough hoppers. I think I will. All right. Yeah, this thing is, uh, this is going to be pretty easy to smell stuff, too. Um, I think that the invention of uh, spreading items with the way that they have them, like, yeah, you can do this. Is going to help us about a thousand times. There we go. Okay, so the furnace setup is finished. I'm going to go ahead and get the balconies and stuff all done as well so we can easily get in and out of here. All right, so I'm heading over to the shopping district. I have been trolling Hypnos so bad. It is hilarious, guys. So the button right now is on green, and I think Hypno is waiting till yellow. Well, I'll show you real fast. Hold on. <laughs> it's so funny. He is literally standing right in front of it. Let me get away from it real fast because I got a lot of diamonds on me. So as you can see, there he is again. Let's go buy him. <laughs> I I, uh, I flew by and shot him a minute ago and then hit him with my sword. So funny, dude. So funny. Anyways, <laughs> I, I'm having so much fun trolling them. So I actually want to do some advertising in the Herald. So I came over here. Head games participation. Uh, these are... A one small armor stand. Wow, that's cool. These are the people who have not yet collected their head par participation voucher for a free armor stand scene. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I don't. I don't think you can actually remove your name from that. Um, please remove your name from name from on the collection. I don't. I can't actually remove it though. Huh. That's weird. Okay. Well, I'll let Cleo know. But I want to advertise some of my shops, and so we're gonna do that now. Now, the only thing is, is that I don't think uh, Dilbert Tips News, okay. And sadly, it doesn't look like they have a way to advertise yet. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go over here real fast because I need some wood. I'm gonna adver leave a note for Cleo that she'll have to come and grab. I don't think I have anything in my inner chest that can do that, no, okay. So I'll just buy some wood real fast. There we go. And so it's what, two diamonds per stack? I can do that. All right, so I want to advertise the TNT shop mostly. Um, so well, that's I think that's the one we're gonna focus on. We'll see if it does any kind of sales and we'll go from there. So uh, where should I put it to where she'll see it? Maybe like right here, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna make a crafting table. There we go, put that down. And then, um, I think what, I, okay, I think what I'll do is I'll make a sign. There you go. Some sticks and sign. Cleo. I would like to advert my TNT shop. Um, and then I'll put a diamond block behind that just like that um please let's do please oh god come on i can't type today cap locks is killing me bro please contact me if i need to do anything for this jevin there we go. Okay, so I've successfully started an advertising campaign. Now I've got 59 diamond ore. I wanna go break this. So in the comment section below guys, let me know what you think we are gonna get from our 59 diamond ore. We're gonna be using fortune three. Plus I've got about seven on me. So go over here. All right, let's land and fantastic. So let's get these all placed down really quickly. Um. I think we're going to get probably four stacks. I don't know. I don't know. Fortune is so hard to like determine what you're actually going to get. It's kind of insane. So, all right. There we go. Get that all placed down. All right. So I'm going to uh, dump that off real fast and switch to our fortune pickaxe. There we go. And then I like to put these up here so you guys can't see them because it's no fun that way. So let's break these down real fast. I have such good luck finding diamond ore. We found like 50 diamond ore on the live stream the other day, so it's pretty good. Okay. 
Ooh, lots and lots of good drops, man. Holy crap. All right, so how many did we get? We got um, almost two stacks. Wow, I was not even close. That was kind of lame. I thought we were going to get way more. Oh, well, we have a ton of diamonds now. We all, I mean, we've always had a ton of diamonds, but... Anyways, guys, I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. This is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.